What's up at the High School? Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Quinn Demarest. And I'm Zuki Wagner. Quinn, three weeks till Christmas vacay. What's your mind state? I really like holiday break, but it is still three weeks, and that's way too long. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Let's get right to the news. The annual handball tournament will be tomorrow at 2 p.m. The price is $25 for a team's admission. The teams should consist of six to eight people with at least one male and female in each team. If you haven't registered already, you can do so during your lunch period today. The 39th annual craft fair will be Friday, December 15th. IHLs will have their clubs on display and activities. The TV production club will be there for the first time ever. Those who come will be able to get their photo taken in our photo booth. Now, let's get to Jack in our studio with a special film review. Today he's reviewing Justice League. Jack? Thanks guys. Justice League is the latest in DC's lineup of extended universe films. Unfortunately, this flick is another cinematic flop in a long line of botched movies, bar Wonder Woman, of course. The story is simple and has the depth of a Saturday morning cartoon, which is somehow still a leg up over Batman vs Superman and Suicide Squad, which were nearly incoherent. The shaky production in multiple screenwriters becomes very obvious with characters, Superman especially, changing from Snyder's deadly serious dialogue th to throwing around jokes and quips in a trademark Joss Whedon style. The CGI and destruction are wholly bland and forgettable, and the main villain has less depth than one you might find in a video game. Not to mention he looks like he was ripped straight out of one too. The team of characters often acts inexplicably, such as leaving an, an important plot device on the roof of a car for the villain Steppenwolf to sneak by and steal while they're distracted. In general, I don't really get excited for superhero movies or like them very much at all, but I think Justice League has put me off from seeing another one for a long time. I give it a 3 out of 10. See you for next time's review. Well, I just, that's it for this week. See you next time. So you know how he said the movie was whack? Yeah. Wouldn't it be dope to be like Aquaman or the Flash? I think it would be really cool to be Batman because he has so much money. I mean, his parents are dead, but he has so much money and that would be really cool. You're actually like, like in the dictionary where it's a freshman, there's like a picture of you. Like a picture of you.